All but right. now how will everyone know that Acadia is dead and then also alive? That's Do okay. I started the recording right before you said that line, so. Okay. Now, now everyone knows. Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Oh. Ain't so simple with this one. I was late on the time. Oh, wait. Now here's That's a right. Kid who's old doesn't actually start, twisted, start moving. It's leaving right. him stranded on a rock in the sky. Like a good speedrun category shit. Sets off it actually is. I, I, I very much admire the trouble. The ground forms fashion mods being like, hey, away. You don't stop to we're away. not starting until you get up. Finds his lifelong oh, you're friend. Doing Just like yeah, see, average taught me the run well, today. Touch I'll tell you. He sees what's left of the rippling okay, wall. Years of, of years of work. Useful idiots for um. In the current run for a shooting career. Yeah, if you want to help oh, see Prepper's run, run, let him know. He will teach you Bastion. It will take you about good. half an hour. Really? I'll just estimate it. Kids yep. work so, quite huh. a thirst by now. Because so the whole thing is, he's like, Sometimes he's going to talk you through the run, which legitimately does not take that long to learn. Uh, the and then squirts, you have to do your first run. Must have fled here from the mine. That's not so bad. Why do we need to prep for the fast run? Because the teaching is his run. It's yeah. not a traditional run. Oh, yeah, He's, he's okay. doing a tutorial. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous water bowls. Inside is old Rondi, the bartender. Another the news, I got, him for I got to talk to the bloody hell devs. Then <laughs> because they're just like openly shit. answering any questions I have <laughs> in the bloody hell discord. And it's really There's funny because I'm like, hey, there's this like random drop I needed in the first two minutes. What chance is it? Special and then I, 20 yes. minutes later, I got an entire list of like the percentage drop rate from all enemies in the game. It is low percent. Call. Not I mean, that's pretty actually, tight. No, I mean, not really. It's like 30%, but I learned the drop rate of what I need, and then I also learned that if you kill an enemy too close to a wall, the percentage drops. <laughs> what? More squirts okay, stuck coming out of the woodwork. I think it's just the engine they're working with, like, spawning the entity gets screwy. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. But now I can, like, potentially learn how to manipulate, which is cool. Yeah, you've seen my fidget for you. Yeah, my cat is very happy because I went to Dave and Buster's again, and most of the time whenever I go to an arcade, it just turns into buying cat toys. Breaker's bowl, and it ain't broke. Time to be a weeb. Good news is the emergency defense is still working. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. And then he falls to his death. I'm just fooling. Yeah. He finds the distillery okay. right next to the arsenal. The, the one downside Tough to, you know, town. the ship that starts one with the fuck the spirits you, that that the one. Is and you start with no like shield. Man. The arsenals where the kid can well, take the trade off. The you know, that, that does sound like a bit of an issue. Since the Fortunately, I, looking at what it started with, I was afraid it was going to start with so many systems you could not get shield. Because honestly, that would be fair. Right back at you. Fortunately, you can get shields. It's just... That first few fight are real stressful. Because you also have no other weapons than do damage. Fast learner. He finds the core. I don't like that. That's enough. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Down he goes. Down toward the bastion. 
Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. We talk for a spell. Yep. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. Kid's surprised when I thought he was pretty bad. Core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. The shards can put this disease in remission. But there's only one cure. The Bastion. It's finally finished. Now, there's something I want you to see. <laughs> War. Worf. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't I remember all my buys. Pause button. So here's the deal. Zia and I figure you've done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. You made it. Hey, kid. Oh yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff that comes out this week. There's like a Cold War update on nah, Thursday or no? Cold War update like tomorrow, I think. Pause is F7. It'll be over soon. No matter what happens next, you're done good. All right, cool. I suppose all that's left. Is to try and remember this moment. <laughs>